Good morning everyone, welcome to another autopilot video and we are starting at the point uh, where my autopilot failed last time and I just want to describe to you uh, for those of you that don't know how autopilot works uh, stop 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 okay what I want to describe to you is how it actually works so Right now, if you can take a look at the, uh, the middle or the front console, you'll see that there are two blue lines. Those are your, those are your um, lane markers. And they are there to uh, guide you um, for staying within your lane. And that's the sole purpose of your uh, mobile eye camera, which is up here. Um, but right now, uh, since we are too close to see any lane markers, we are tracking the car in front of us. So that's why that car is now in blue. Um, so crossing a, um, a cross uh, intersection like this, you're going to lose your uh, lane markers. Obviously there are no lane markers in the intersection. So what happens is if you have a car to follow like this, it will um, it will track it. So as long as this car uh, moves in a, a, a predictable manner which is straight across the uh, um, intersection, it will be fine. Autopilot will be able to handle the situation. So um, keep an eye out on how this behaves because we're gonna probably uh, move soon the light is gonna change so we're gonna be following this Audi and as you can see it's still following the Audi it's turning blue and then once we get here it says hold steering wheel and then the lane markers uh, kick back in so now I'm using the lane markers to keep within the lanes and uh, right now even in version 8 uh, autopilot does not recognize uh, uh, red lights or stop signs so if you don't have somebody to follow like I did uh, it would have blew by the red light or a stop sign so uh, that's just something that you have to be aware of and how this autopilot works or how Tesla's autopilot works in its current version and in, even in 7.1 uh, the previous version it did not allow for uh, recognizing um, stop signs or red lights um, and it's really not meant for uh, uh, local streets like this as you can see this is a uh, uh, a, a local street and this is where I pulled over last time many people said oh you're not supposed to pull over blah 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 but look this is a local street and it's restricted if I push it up to 60 and try to increase the, the speed it won't do it because it's a restricted road it's considered local street I'm, I wasn't on the highway uh, for all those haters anyway uh, today and uh, a few days after that the autopilot failure incident, I have not been able to reproduce the issue that caused the problem. So, uh, seems to work fine now. Um, I don't know what exactly caused that issue. So, your guess is as good as mine, but it worked perfectly in the beginning and then all of a sudden it just stopped working. So, don't know what the problem was. Uh, on my way home, it worked fine, but I didn't record it. So, there was nothing to go on from that. So, again, if you look at autopilot, um, it, it's tracking the lanes pretty well. The lanes are really well lit here. You can see the lane markers. Hope you guys like this new angle and the two camera system. It, it, I think it really helps for you guys to see exactly what's going on. 
Stop! 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 Fuck. That was no good. <laughs> it, uh... Damn. It, it uh... Was bad. I had to, uh... Do emergency braking. Okay, great. I was counting on autopilot to uh, stop, but uh, it did not stop. Uh, anyway, yeah, of course everyone will say it's my fault, mm, whatever, and uh, autopilot is not meant to blah blah blah, but clearly it has some blind spots and Clearly, it has a lot more work out of it. So, when you expect autopilot to stop, it just stop. And not tell me that I was going to collide with something very, very bad. Anyway, so. Yeah, this is a good day to test. Look, the sun is shining right at me, and autopilot is able to see the lanes. So, don't know what happened last time, but uh, yeah, this 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 seems to be working fine, even in direct sunlight. Uh, the sun is coming uh, at me about uh, eleven o'clock, sort of. And I'm sure that it's coming up on the video too. Let me check. Yeah, it's, uh, you can see a fair amount of sun from the video. But it's working as, as expected. And yeah, no, no problems. The, yeah, I don't, I don't really think that the autopilot uh, or the or the new what what Elon kept on saying about the radar and stuff. I still don't see it as a a good or a, a improvement. Um, I haven't seen any improvement. Don't want to follow him too close because of what happened before when autopilot didn't stop for me. I want to actually go over to a, a lane where uh, it has more traffic so that you can see what it looks like um, when, when autopilot is detecting. Sorry. So, when autopilot is detecting it or not. So, you can see that this is an exit lane, and then all of a sudden you, you see the lane marker disappear, and then now it reappear because. There was no lane marker there, but once there's, as long as there's one lane marker, it will try to hug it and try to use that lane marker to to drive. But as you can see, we have a, a fair deal of traffic here, and I want you to notice how autopilot sees um, the car in front of this one, in front of this BMW. Uh, there's like three or four cars right in front of it and we're basically doing stop and go traffic and you can see the the, uh, the position of uh, the radar bouncing under the car and coming back is not that precise you'll see that the car in front of this car should be shifting back and forth left and right and sometimes over the lane marker uh, which it really isn't doing but uh, yeah that's a, that's why I wasn't really impressed. I really haven't found it to be all that accurate. I mean, uh, it, it hasn't been that much of an improvement, but I guess we'll see later on as it ca uh, captures more information but uh, the the blog that Elon wrote really mentions like overpasses like this where it, it's collecting data 
from from the fleet. Uh, not not really anything else. So I'm not sure how how this autopilot is is supposedly gonna improve uh, over time with the radar. Um, it was fine before without using radar to try to detect something in front of uh, you know directly in front of the car that's in front of you uh, but yeah uh, I, I've also noticed that uh, on local streets or, or restricted roads it tends to nag you more often to to hold on to the steering wheel on the highway it doesn't really was a white model X on the other side. The color that uh, that Tesla set was uh, not very popular. So they got rid of the <laughs> the white because it was free and for no other reason because that was the most popular color and it was free. Now you're forced to actually pay $1,500 absolutely insane uh, I guess you know the Tesla in the end has to survive and they have to charge whatever they need to charge to survive so that's just another business move on their end to make more money and they definitely need to do a fundraiser to to get to the next level so We'll see what happens in the in the fundraiser. Here comes some 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 traffic, and uh, I want you to notice how uh, autopilot sees um, the cars. And I will look. There goes the Model S on the other side, and it's white. <laughs> I guess white isn't a popular color after all. That's why they got rid of it. Man, this PR spin is just really bad. That they they come out and just outright lie to you. That they streaming streamlining their process or whatever to make a better experience. You're not making a better experience by taking away options. Definitely not. I hate the way off uh, the the pearl white looks because it looks dirty, and I, I've hated pearl white ever since I've got my first Pearl White and I've never liked Pearl White I always liked Pure White because it looks the best and it doesn't look dirty just like the car in front of me it's a Porsche that is definitely not white it is Pearl White or whatever um, Porsche calls their white and it looks dirty so anyway, uh, I want to also show you what happens when um, when autopilot uh, starts nagging and then uh, you stop uh, listening to it. Uh, it'll start to flash. And what what, what I want to tell you is, I've done this before, and it's just like when you're going over 90 miles per hour. So in with autopilot. It will, sorry, it will uh, tell you that auto, uh, the auto steer is off when you're going over 90, but it really isn't. And uh, I think for legal reasons, Tesla cannot actually turn it off immediately. And I haven't really tested how long um, you can go above 90 before, um, before it stops steering for you. Hey, look, there goes another white model. <laughs> wow, anyway, this is crazy. Anyway, um, back to the point. When it starts nagging me, uh, it's gonna say take over immediately, Watch and it's stopped on shoulder ahead. And it's gonna tell me to hey, look, a Model S. Man, a lot of Teslas. Uh, so it's gonna tell tell me to take over, uh, and. It's, uh, I'm not gonna take over. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply uh, some uh, acceleration 
into it to keep the, the car going. What happens is, if you don't, the car will just stop. And after around 30 miles per hour, it will put on its blinkers. So here we go with the holding. I will not hold it. And I'm gonna get ready to put some uh, gas to stop it from uh, decelerating. So what I wanna do is probably get into like the, the slower lane to do this. So now it's still saying hold, reminding me, but I'm not doing anything. So here goes the last, last one. And now it says, oh, take a this is really annoying, so sorry about the, the noise, I will... After I take over, guess what? The TACC kicks in. So the uh, traffic aware cruise control takes over. So now it's gonna brake and, and uh, apply acceleration for me. Uh, so I don't have my foot on the accelerator anymore. Uh, but now if I try to engage autopilot, that's the, the, the message that comes up. So after you do a one strike or a two strike or whatever, or a three strike or whatever, when autopilot uh, is no longer available to you, that's the message that's supposed to come up. But when I was trying to engage it, when I had the autopilot issue a few days ago, uh, it was saying a different message, meaning it's unavailable, meaning it's not, uh, not confident enough to allow you to go on to auto steer. That was the problem. So it was, uh, if you noticed in the video, the, the lane markers are going in and out. As you can see here, the lane markers are rock solid black. So it's, it's, it's seeing them, but it's not, uh, it wasn't recognizing it when it was failing. So that's why it wasn't enabling. It wasn't that it locked me out. But when it's locked out, that's the, that's the message. So anyway, thanks for joining me and uh, like and subscribe and comment, leave a comment below. So I hope uh, this video has helped you understand autopilot a little bit more and how it works in uh, version 8.